I suppose you're all about Mayo at the start of the, the program. Like obviously with the Donegal debacle, we'll touch touch on that. What what do you make of the whole Paddy Carr thing? What's going on? Or well, I have my own take on it. Um, at the county level, is a hard level to be at, right? And I had this conversation end uh, with with a good friend of mine. Um, but Big Daniel St. Ledger, actually, former Cardiff, but he's managing and yeah. he's managing at the minute. He's managing since Sylvester. Centre back, wouldn't he? Centre back. He was, yeah, yeah, good footballer, good footballer. Real analytical brain, though. F- f- thought about the game, thought about the game in a real analytical way that most players didn't. And you can see very clearly he's going to be a brilliant coach, and he is a brilliant coach. He brought Sylvester's up last year from Division Two to, to senior football in, in Dublin, and they're actually shooting the lights out now in Division One, which is brilliant to see. Um, but like one thing that Daniel said, I mean, he's right. Like he says, like you know, realistically, realistically, all this money that goes into the county level, the, the stress, the, the you know, the, the strain of it is a, actually a lot more coaches are probably now happier coaching at club level. You, like, see the more Paddy Carr situations that happen, and the more Dempsey situations that happen from Limerick, the more right. it's going to put people off the game. It's going to put people off the game. So I, I, I it, mean, sorry, sorry to cut across this, TV, but has yeah, right. it will will that open the floodgates now? Because this is is this a bit unprecedented? Because I've never, I've never, I'm trying to think of it today. Have we ever witnessed two managers gone within the the, the, the league hasn't even finished? So never, never. Is, I, I, I said it. I said it actually. I said it yesterday in a tweet. Like Paddy Carr seems a real. He seems a real nice man, and I know from speaking to the Burn lads here and down. They, he managed Burn here and down to a championship final um, a number of years ago, and the Burn lads loved him. They thought he's a brilliant man manager, real nice man, you know, real gentleman. You know, on, Paddy Carr understands the game. He's been around the game a long time, and he's not Paddy Carr's not a he's not an idiot. Like you know, he's not he's a he's a he's a good football man. He understands the game. He knows what the game's about, right? And this is what seconds me a little bit now. You see, because what you have is. You have the likes of McGuinness coming out doing podcasts. Jim had no Jim had no reason to do that podcast. No reason to do that podcast. He had no reason to bring it up. He had no reason to heap the pressure on. But he decided he would do it. And he would heap the pressure on. Once Jim McGuinness comes out, because there's still a... The thing about Jim is, Jim's legacy is going to be untouched, right? Because Jim won an All-Ireland with Donegal in 2012. But in the last 10 years, Jim has done nothing in GA work, right? Except sit in the Sky Sports studio. And it's very, very easy to sit and talk about the game. It's much more difficult when you're standing on the sideline in the heat of the battle. Jim had a very loyal group of players as well that he brought through from under 21. Level. He great leaders in that group. He had his own brother in law on the team. And he was great loyalty to Jim. Now, whether the same group of players now would get that, Jim would get that same loyalty and commitment and drive off them it, it, we don't know we don't know right because he's never been there so for him to come out last week and say that put Paddy Carr in a really really difficult situation more or less like more or less saying you know I wanted the job and they wouldn't give it to me yeah so it's actually now the ball back because still he's, he's had a standing relationship with my own kind he's been in working and coaching and down now on a regular basis we know that right so what does he do now? Is it is he happy to float about different counties and do sessions here and there? Or is he actually willing to put his head on the line again and step up and take it? Because I'll tell you why. The possibility of him, Lacey Murphy, for example, and Rory Kavanagh as a management team will probably just reignite. You know, we're talking about a real, real dream team. See how it unfolds, that, how that unfolds. Or, or are they going to just sort of say, right, this season's a write-off. We're going to stick with Paddy Bradley and Aidan O'Rourke until the season's over. But who knows? We're probably, we're probably. There's no point probably talking now, Andy, because there's a county board meeting now as we speak. So I'm sure there's plenty of, of rockets and fireworks just being set off right now in that meeting. Uh, God knows what's going to come out of that meeting. Whether there could be a disbandment of the county board, a vote of no confidence. Nobody, nobody seems to know. But I think it's important to note as well. No matter how bad a county board is or how incompetent people feel a county board is. These are still volunteer officers who are giving up their time, you know, and who else is willing to do it? That's the question. Who else is willing to step up and do it? So that's the question, you know, and, and a lot of people that are really quick to fire mode at the county board. And listen, I've been critical of our own county board in the past. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I have. I've, I've, I've put my head above the apartment. I've, I've said, look, I've said things probably, you know, that, that, that probably got me in trouble or whatever. That's fine. But that's... He was speaking passionately about how I felt things were being run, etc. And look, to be honest with you, no one is perfect. No one is perfect. And, you know, obviously Donegal have a lot more going on that, than we probably know about, you know. But there seems to be, 
I think there was somebody said this to me. There seems to be his story, their story, and then someone said to me the truth is normally somewhere in between. So yeah. we, we we probably we probably don't know what the actual truth is, you know, but we probably is, will emerge. In- is it a case where Stevie that you know McGinnis came out and did their article that basically basically said, look, and I was available, but no one rang me back, or you know, I was available to work with another management team, but no one rang me back, and you know the whole Lacey and uh, Cameron thing. Is it? Uh, look, there's an awful lot of politics that go on with county boards and, you know, you don't know the ins and outs, as we said there. But uh, it seems strange to me where, you know, as you said, Jim's legacy is set. He, he brought the, that team from a very low ebb to our Ireland success. And it's, it just seems very strange to me where, you know, if he was available to do something, obviously he's in with your own county uh, at the moment uh, doing sessions like, but that, like, w- that seems strange to me. And to me, that seems like a power struggle. I, like, the county board just don't want that kind of big personality in there mm-hmm. again, or we don't know how <clears throat> that relationship, um, you know, we don't actually, I don't even know, is it the same county? I, I doubt it's the same county board officials that were there 10 years ago. Now, personal relationships play an awful big part in these things, as we both know, especially that, that county board levels. Yeah. And, and, and I, I'm not fully sure and, uh, of, of who was there. Can you hear me, Stevie? Your Wi-Fi, I think, is breaking. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear, yeah, you're just cutting in and out there. Sorry, yeah, you're sounding up, you're sounding up. There, there seemed to be a wee bit of interference there. Um, no, just just to go back to what you said there about the, the county board officials that were there. I, I Obviously, we don't know who was there the guts of 10 years ago, but, but you see, the problem now and is, right, this is the problem in a lot of counties. So every county manager that comes in now, right, needs paid, okay? E- even, those, even those that are taking... So what, what you have now, Enda, is... You have a county board then who are watching pennies and watching money, you know, and don't want to spend the big bucks. But everyone realizes to keep up with the Joneses, you need the best S and C, you need the best GPS, you know, you need the best for the players, you need your training weekends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So running a county team now is not cheap. It's not cheap. And I think back in twenty ten, when 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 Jim was doing it, obviously there was a lot of money coming in from America and the likes of that, you know, and London and stuff as well. And I know Russ Common would take a lot of money over from London and stuff. So like there, there is there is a lot of 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 counties that that can generate fundraising, you know, in a way. But county boards are obviously running the county, so they want control, you know, and they want you're, to know. You're, they, you're, they, obviously, <laughs> you're, you're obviously saying Jim was a bit too expensive for them. <laughs> No, 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 no. But what, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that county boards want transparency on all the money that's being spent. That's that's the reality. They want transparency, right? So I think that's one of the reasons behind the whole Lacey thing that there was a lot of, you know, there was X amount of pounds being spent here, there, and everywhere. But the county board just wanted a bit more transparency and they wanted okay. a bit more control, you know. And and I think that that's that's something obviously that 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 is a big issue. And look. look it's it's something like I know from from experience. Like we would have done a lot of our own fundraising and stuff like that. Even in 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 the, in the days of Coral and stuff like that, we would have done a lot of fundraising in such a small county. And still, like you, you couldn't have breathed without the county board. Like I remember going to America with a wife and being sent back Jack from from Kevin Madden, great fella, uh, a farther a. Uh, and sent back a very very generous uh, check, you know, towards the Coral Training Fund. And I sort yeah. of said to Turlick, like, can we sort of bury this, you know, keep it away from the county board? Like, and poor Turlick was like, no, 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 you have to let them know, you know. So, the, uh, like, you couldn't you couldn't do anything yourself. You know, we wanted to sort of, like, push yeah. the money towards the training week in the Johnson House or something. But so it all had to go through the county board. Like, everything had to, like, do you know what I mean? So a lot of it county has, boards are very... It has tightened up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. it has tightened up a lot now in the last 15 years. Like, and, yeah. like that was... The, the bandit stuff was still going on 10 years ago, CB. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. See me? No, I, I was just saying yeah. there, the bandit stuff was still going on. Like, that's transparency. Definitely, definitely know in the last six, seven years that 
things have tightened up in that regard as in county boards everything has to be shown as you said transparency there people can see the accounts at the end of the year uh, they can't swindle books as much now and everything has to go through the books so um, look at yeah it, look at it yeah, it'll be interesting. Just go yeah. back to the Johnny Gall thing. What, what uh, will Aidan O'Rourke and, and Paddy Bradley take it for the the remaining um, time of the the year? Um, look, it's not. Yeah, look, there usually it's me in the headlines uh, uh, during the off season. Like, with after Gall. me, after Sunday. Say it again, Stevie. Yeah, I after Sunday, after Sunday, the, the four weeks of the championship after Sunday. You know, Who's four weeks to the championship, Who's like so. Not Who's a lot of first I waited down. You know the first... I waited down. Wait. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 That'll be uh, that'll be tasty. So Jesus. So Jesus. If Jim, my God, right? I didn't know that. If Jim is and obviously, yeah, he's obviously heavily involved in down now. He's. I don't personally. I don't think Jim will go near that yet. No, he not. No, he not. Not a chance. Not a chance, you know. No. Not a chance. It'd be coming in. It'd be coming in on a, a complete clean slate next year, you know. 